Hello and welcome to another episode of Outdoor Defense. This week I want to talk to you about what happens if you're grabbed from behind. Now if you were to take a full contact, full force self-defense course, they would teach you in depth how to get out of a situation where you're grabbed from behind. I teach these types of classes with impact. However, with a video, I'm not going to be able to show you everything, but I can show you that at least you're not helpless if you're grabbed from behind. grab from behind that's not the end there's still plenty of things you can do let's think about it just for a moment just you and I here all right so if someone comes up behind me and grabs me from behind it means that for whatever reason they caught me by surprise and it's not my fault if this happens first of all second of all now I have to start thinking about what I can do now if someone grabs me from behind they may have my arms held but I still have my legs and I still have my feet so I might be able to foot stomp, I might be able to scrape my foot down the side of their shin, which causes a lot of pain. And depending on how they grab my arms, if they grab me kind of by my upper arms, I might be able to get my lower arm back and down to slam my reverse heel palm back into their groin with my open palm on either side, right? So that's available because their groin is gonna be right behind mine. That is a viable strike. Now, if they grab me in a way where um, I have my arms free, like maybe they grab me around my waist and my arms are free, I could turn around and I can elbow somebody in the face with my elbows. And as soon as you can loosen the grip with either any one of those strikes, then you're going to turn around and face them. And then you're in a confrontation type of scenario where you're facing them. And we've learned what options we have as far as that. And if you get a chance to take a full force class, that's something that they can cover in detail and help you feel even more confident when you're out there. Oh, another thing too, being grabbed from behind is not the most common type of attack that we face. It's very often that we're um, attacked from the front by someone who's trying to talk to us and trying to weasel their way into our boundaries and, and, and push through and interview us as it's called to see if we're going to be a good target. It's not the most common to be grabbed from behind. However, it is the thing that we tend to be the most fearful of. So that's why I wanted to address this here to let you know that you're not helpless. There are things that you can do and you are worth fighting for.